One apple a day keeps the doctor away, but not if you're a diabetic or a pre-diabetic. Apples spike blood sugar and that's not what we want. But don't worry because in this video I will share with you other fruits that I like to eat. Some of them don't spike my blood sugar at all and some of them spike it just a little bit and very slowly, which is exactly what we need. During those more than 30 years with diabetes I tried all kinds of fruits and it was not easy to find these hidden gems. So let's talk about my top diabetes approved fruits. I sorted them from the least favorites to the most favorites. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. Let's go. Number five is grapefruit. Grapefruits are packed with vitamin C, other antioxidants, and they have very good dietary fiber content. If you're a type two diabetic or a pre-diabetic, they can help you fight against insulin resistance and weight gain as well. Grapefruits are more than 90% water, which makes them a great option for fresh juice to keep you hydrated. They are very low in carbs with only nine grams of net carbs per 100 grams. And the glycemic index or GI is only 25, which is very low, contributing to relatively minor and slow blood sugar spikes compared to other fruits. Grapefruit has great GI number and net carb number. And these are really the two most important indicator when we are looking for blood sugar friendly fruits. We want these numbers as low as possible. But one problem many people have with grapefruit is that it's too bitter. If you're like me, you will probably find the bitter taste of a freshly squeezed grapefruit juice pretty refreshing. But I'm sure many of you would like that juice to be sweeter. I get that. An easy and healthy way to make the juice from grapefruit sweeter is to add some stevia, which is a natural sweetener that won't spike your glucose at all. So try it out. My fourth most favorite fruit are raspberries and blackberries. Berries in general have high levels of antioxidants, fiber and vitamin C. And raspberries and blackberries specifically have very sweet taste but they both only have five grams of net carbs per 100 grams. The glycemic index is 32 for raspberries and only 25 for blackberries. These are extremely friendly blood sugar numbers compared to other sweet fruits out there. So raspberries and blackberries won't cause that big sharp blood sugar spike unless you eat way way too much of them. I like to add berries in a low carb smoothie or a breakfast bowl with some oats and low carb yogurt. Now speaking of berries I have one bonus fruit for you which in fact is considered superfood. Goji berries. This one is not so widely known but it's one of the healthiest fruits with high levels of antioxidants that help regulate metabolism and protect your eyes which is a great benefit if you're diabetic. 19 amino acids, 21 one trace minerals, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamins B, lots of fiber and fatty acids. Now you need to go easy on goji berries because unlike other fruits mentioned in this video, these are very, very sweet. So they will spike your blood sugar a bit more. But although they are so sweet, they still have pretty reasonable numbers. The glycemic index is only 29. And although they have 49 grams of carbs per 100 grams, 19 grams of this is fiber, which gets us to 30 grams of net carbs per 100 grams. And I think they are well worth it, at least for me. A little higher in carbs, but packed with all kinds of other good stuff. They are mostly sold dry and you can get them in most bigger supermarkets or healthy food stores. They are great for snacking in small amounts. If the dried ones are too hard for you, you can just soak them in a bowl of water for a few minutes and they will soften very fast. Number three is coconut. Wait, you say coconut is not a fruit? Well, I was thinking the same, but according to healthline.com, coconut, although it has the word nut in the name, is a fruit, not a nut. In fact, they claim that coconut falls under a fruit called droops, which are fruits that have an inner flesh and seeds surrounded by a hard shell. Other droops are peaches, pears, and even walnuts and almonds. They apparently fall within the fruit category. What do you think? Is coconut a fruit or a nut? Let me know in the comments. Anyhow, coconut is great for diabetics because it doesn't have a lot of carbs. It's mostly healthy fats, it's packed with fiber and iron, and it only has six grams of net carbs per 100 grams of raw coconut and seven grams per 100 grams of dry coconut. The glycemic index is 42, which is quite high. But because it has so little carbs, the higher GI number is not such a big deal, at least for me. And you can find raw coconut in most tropical countries and a dried coconut in many Many supermarkets. I love many coconut products, coconut water as a refreshing drink or coconut milk that I include in many of my favorite recipes. And coconut ice cream I like too. Did I say ice cream? 
I need to cut that out later. My second favorite fruit is guava. Guavas are another nutritious and very delicious tropical fruit. Some of them even call it superfood. Guavas are native to Central America and Northern South America, but you can find them grown in some Asian countries and Southern US states. There are several different kinds of guavas. The ripe guavas can be yellow, green or red, and the inner pulp can vary in seed content and color, from white all the way to dark pink. I discovered guavas here in the north of Brazil, where we have these dark pink ones. I eat them unpeeled and I eat the seeds as well. This way of eating guavas proves to be very blood sugar friendly, because I think the seeds and the pulp have a lot of fiber. And honestly, I think this way of eating any food is more blood sugar friendly. Guavas are great for snacking or as one of your components for your healthy smoothie. Not too sweet, but delicious. Guavas are also rich in vitamin C, a and B9. I found out that the Southern American guavas have only 9 grams of net carbs per 100 grams and the glycemic index of 12. These are extremely good numbers, even better than grapefruit. And guava is not as bitter as grapefruit at all. So that's why it's so high on my list. Guavas grown in Asia and Africa can have a higher GI around 30 and Indian guavas can have GI in the 70s. So watch out for that because apparently fruits from different kind of the worlds can have different impacts on your body sugars. And as always, what works for me might not work for you. I'm not a nutrition specialist. I'm just sharing my own experience and what fruit I like to eat and what fruit doesn't spike my blood sugar that much. If you have other foods that work for you, I would be more than happy to read about those in the comment section. So let me know, please. And my number one diabetes approved fruit is avocado. You say avocado is not a fruit either? Well, botanically, it is classified as a berry with a single seed. So it is a fruit. Avocados are high in many vitamins, minerals, fiber, and healthy unsaturated fats. They are also super low in carbs compared to all other fruits with only three grams of net carbs per 100 grams. And the glycemic index is only 15. The best thing about avocado is that it tastes so good, so buttery, but it is so healthy. By the way, I already made two videos where I shared my two favorite avocado the recipes. They are on the screen right now, so click one of them and watch it next. And I will see you there. Ciao!